Hey, welcome back to MacBreak Studio. My name is Mark, this is Steve. This is our 300th episode, so I just wanted to take a minute. You'll probably notice in the title down there, it says MBS something 300. So does just, it actually say down 300? It does, it, it, the number is every week, it's right there in the, in, the, in the title. So the reason we've been doing this for over six years, and the reason we're able to keep doing it is because you guys purchase our tutorials and plugins. And that's what allows us to do this and keep providing all this kind of information. So we want to say thank you for doing that. Mm -hmm. So we love doing the show. We want to keep doing it. And we're excited. we got a lot of great new stuff coming out um, across the board this year. So you <laughs> want to look out for everything we have going on, rippletraining.com. If you've never looked at any of our full in-depth training, please do take a peek at rippletraining.com. Um, very much appreciate it. A lot of free stuff, a lot of information on how you get deep, full training. Mm -hmm. So uh, with that said, you know, congratulations, 300. It's pretty awesome. Yep. Been a long road. Wish we had a cake or some candles or something. I know. We'll celebrate later. <laughs> <laughs> we'll celebrate when we're dead. So in the meantime, um, I feel like we're doing a retro episode. I feel like we've stepped back in time to episode 100 or something because I'm looking at Steve's screen and he's got Fanaka Pro 7 up and running on Yosemite <laughs> here, which is really bizarre. So let's find out what's, what are you up to? Well, I brought, I uh, broke out Final Cut 7, AKA Legacy Final Cut Pro, because on the web, there's been a lot of discussion about trimming as compared as compared to Final Cut compared to Avid or Premiere or what have you. And one phrase that keeps coming back is this phrase called dynamic trimming. Dynamic, dynamic trimming. trimming. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, dynamic trimming is this great Trimming thing. with force. Trimming with force. <laughs> Verve. Um, the thing is, is that dynamic trimming is just a means of being able to shuttle over an edit point and when you stop playback, it executes an edit. That's so you want to trim is. while it's playing back. Yeah, exactly. So you're kind it's... of watching it things unfold. Mm -hmm. And in a blink of an eye, the Walter Murch, like watching for where to make the cut. That's right. Now, for that, for that, I want to jump back into Final Cut Pro 7 because it has a dynamic trimming function built right into the trim window. And I want to review it because a lot of people don't really know what it is. And I think it's important uh, to talk about it. So you want to compare how it worked in 7 and look at what you can do in Final Cut 10? Exactly. Okay, great. Let's All take right. a look. Okay, so here I am in Legacy Final Cut Pro 7, or Legacy Final Cut, and I have uh, you know, three shots here. And I like to do things with the keyboard, and uh, let's say I want to trim, trim an edit point. One of the things you could do in Final Cut was if you pressed the V key, that would move your play into the edit point. And then, yep. then you could use the U key to toggle either sides of the edit point. It's all coming back to me. Remember? So, uh -huh. Right, you go next edit and press the U key and then toggle the left. Uh, so you edits. press the down arrow to move to the edit point. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Now, sometimes you're going to want to do a trim using the actual trim window. So I'm going to press Command 7 to bring this window up. A lot of people don't even know this was in Final Cut 7. But what you're looking at is a two-up display where you're seeing the outgoing edit or the outgoing edit point, the tail of the previous shot on the left, and the incoming shot or the head frame on the right. And notice as I'm clicking in each of these windows, the green bar shows up telling you what side of the edit you're about to affect. And you can also see the little brown highlight right. switch as well. As in the I'm timeline. clicking, it's switching. If I want to do a, a what avid people call a dual roller tri trim, I can click right in the center and mm -hmm. it's now essentially doing a rolling edit. A roll edit, okay. yep. So that's not what I want to focus on. I mean, that's just a quick review of the trim window, but really what you want to look at here is this little checkbox that says dynamic. Yes. Okay, that's off by default, but this is what I mean. It was built into Final Cut mm -hmm. Legacy. And really what that meant was, if you used your J, K, and L keys, for example, let's say I wanted to work on this side of the edit point. Notice it's green, mm -hmm. okay? and that's selected here. I'm going to use J, K, and L. I'm going to back up. I'm going to go forward. And notice as I hit L, I'm playing, and when I hit K, the edit executes. Mm -hmm. I go backwards, I hit J, I'm going backwards now. When I hit right about there, edit executes. Now I want to work on this side of the edit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit K. Or I think you could hit the slash key to play around the edit point or, so, that, yeah. so it would back up automatically and play you through You could, the but I'm just, right now, I'm just you trying to keep things part. simple. Okay. So right now I'm using the U key I want to work on the uh, incoming or the head frame. So now I'm gonna just go ahead and just as this, uh, I wanna do an edit right when he puts his sword in the hilt and then just hit K and it makes the edit. That, this is, for all intents and purposes, dynamic trimming the way Apple defines it in Final Cut Pro 7. Okay, and you could also play through the edit point as you watch to see exactly how that it happens right. you're doing. That's right, you okay. can back it up and, and every time you hit the K key, it executes the edit. Got it, okay. So that's dynamic trimming. So 
what we're going to do is jump back into Final Cut Pro 10 and look at the similarities, if there are any, and uh, take a look. Okay. So here we are inside Final Cut Pro 10, and we're going to look at how you would do a dynamic trim in this application. So some of the similarities, if I press down arrow, I can select an edit point by pressing the, either the uh, left bracket to select the outgoing edit point or the right bracket to select the incoming edit point, or I can select the backslash key to select both, both edit points. And uh, oh, here's something interesting. If you hit shift uh, left bracket, you can select just the audio out point. Nice. Or if, you hit, or if you hit shift right bracket, you can select the audio. Audio only. Only. Very cool. Very handy. That's something that uh, a lot of people don't know you can do. So what I want to do is get into the precision editor by hitting control E. Now we're looking at the outgoing clip here and the incoming clip here. Now notice as I move my pointer into the film strip, you see a little skimmer, a clip skimmer, so I can actually skim and see the handle frames. Uh, so you get to see all the material that's not included in the edit point right now for right. both clips. For both clips. So if I move my skimmer just before the edit point and press the space bar, notice it's playing the, the handle clip. frames, the whole clip. Very same nice. For uh -huh. the, same for the incoming. It's playing all of the handle frames I'm not seeing. And by the way, JKL works as long as your skimmer is inside the clip. In other words, you got this uh, your pointer inside the clip boundary. And if I tap L, I'm playing, playing the handle frames, K to stop, J to go back. And I'm doing this all within the clip itself. Okay. Now, very nice. Now, let's say I want to do an edit point. Now, remember what I said previously in Final Cut 7 to do a dynamic trim, it's whenever you press the K key, it would execute the mm -hmm. edit. And you could do that inside Final Cut, but it takes an extra step. That's all. Okay. So, what I want to do is select the outgoing edit point here. So, I'm going to use the uh, left bracket key so it's selected. And I'm going to just skim over. It, Okay, let's say I want to do the edit point there. I press K. It's okay. It stopped, but nothing. No edit. No, no edit. No okay. edit. But I could take an additional step of extending the edit by pressing Shift X. Okay. Right? So I'm going to undo that. So because did you have to press K first to stop stop it from? You playing? have to press K to stop if, it if you want to stop it. Okay. Right. But I'm going to show you this really cool little trick that I have. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to open up the command editor and show you that the N key I have remapped as an extend edit, as you can see there. And the reason I did it that way is that my uh, index finger, middle finger, and, and ring finger are all kind of poised over these keys for shuttling. Ah, so and it, you, it's close by. It's really close by. Just one key down, I can tap to make an extend edit. Right? Okay. I wanted to show you that. Now, I'm going to go back in here and select the edit point. Again, the thing about this is you've got to make sure the edit point is selected. And I'm going to use my JKL key, make sure your mouse pointer is in the film strip. And I'm just going to play, and right there I'm going to edit, and this time I'm going to tap N. Okay. It just, wow. There's your dynamic wow. trim. It takes an extra keystroke, except I just move my finger down to the end. Now, but if you didn't press K at all, if you just were watching it play back and tap the N, would that just immediately make the edit point without let's stopping playback? Let's find out. So if I'm going I'm to go ahead and just play this. And it's playing, playing, and I want to make it hit it press N. It jumps yes. right to where the playhead it jumps is. Jumps right to where the playhead is. So I, I don't know how actually you get more dynamic than this. <laughs> I, I I just I don't I just don't know. Someone will have to like write yeah. me and write and explain it to me. But that's pretty darn dynamic, don't you think? Mark? I think so. So <laughs> if you wanted to do the the incoming clip, you would just first move the. Uh, this, the scrubber hand over that clip, and then when you play, you're, just, you're playing all of its frames. But you want to make sure that you select the, the edit point, point. for it yes. first. Yeah. But yes, but now I'm going to use the J, well, I'll just back this up, and uh, I'll play. I'm using L, and when I edit, edit, edit right there. So you just, you just hit N, and you just did an edit right to that point for that incoming clip. That's it. Exactly. Fabulous. Exactly. So there, my friend, is Final Cut Pro 10's version of dynamic trimming. Now, just because it doesn't conform to, you know, other editors' definition of dynamic doesn't necessarily mean it's not dynamic. Right. Well, and that, that's the thing is a lot of things in Final Cut Pro 10 just work differently. You just work different. It's just different. That's yeah, all. And frequently, depending on it, either it takes some getting used to or you'll find out you're much faster with it after getting used to thinking about things a little bit differently. So that's right. great. So uh, dynamic trimming in Final Cut Pro 10. Excellent. Steve, thank you. Very good. Thank you for watching. Thank you for sticking with us through our 300 episodes. Although, if you want to go back and watch the old ones, you can do that. Um, we got a lot more new stuff coming. Don't uh, forget please. to come about our app. Oh, 
which, oh yeah, we've got a great app on Fonica Pro 10. Check it out on the App Store. Look up uh, Fonica, look up Fonica Pro. Look up uh, Ripple Training on, on the App Store. We have a great Fonica Pro 10 training app that takes you through 20 lessons. First yeah. 10 lessons are free. If you like what you see, buy the rest. I think it's 10 bucks, bucks. 10 bucks for the whole thing. Um, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter so you'll get notified when we have new training, new plugins. We've got a lot of great new stuff coming out. Thank you very much for watching MacBreak Studio.